Today we're going to talk about adjectives, which is on page 14 in your Unit 6 Daring Adventures booklet. As you know, adjectives describe people, things, or places. And we have a few examples down here, cool, thoughtful, surly, or contemptuous. And if you use these words properly, they influence how we think. So let's start with some examples from this page. When you look at this person, it looks like she's thinking. Thoughtful is the adjective that I'm thinking of. And thoughtful means you're showing concern for the needs or feelings for others. When someone is sad, if you're thoughtful, maybe you can go up and give that person a pat on the shoulder and ask, are you all right? That would be a thoughtful action. And if you look at this, looks like the example I talked about. And the word is empathetic. If you're empathetic, you can even share and understand another person's emotions or experiences. That means you can share others' feelings. This one, it means to keep trying and not give up. That's right, it's persistent. You're trying to do something even though it's really difficult or others want you to stop, but you won't give up. You're very persistent. Working together and willing to be helpful by doing what someone asks you to or wants you to, that would be very cooperative. Hmm, if you're thinking doing it now or doing it later, well, you decide to do it now, you're very decisive. That means you can make choices quickly and confidently. And this one, what makes you think of? That's right, fair. Fair means treating people in a way that does not favor some over others. You're going to treat your friends fairly by sharing your food, let's say one biscuit for each friend, and not more for your best friend, and very little for some others. Wow, look at this fireman. He's going into the place which has fire to help put out the fire. He's very courageous. That means very brave. And this person looks like he's doing a bungee jump. That's right. He is the daring person. Daring means you're willing to do difficult things. This looks like a very difficult thing to do as well. Which adjective do you think of? Right, you can use persistent again, or you can say determined. Determined means you have a really strong feeling that you're going to do something and you won't allow anyone to stop you. Then you're a very determined person. Hmm, see this? There are some ideas in your brain. Ah, you are open-minded if you're willing to consider different ideas and not just stick to one idea of your own. If you are open-minded, you may listen to the ideas of your group members. And this one, it's definitely a selfless action. All these people are trying to help the person who is hurt. Selfless means you show great concern for other people and little or no concern for yourself. You always think of others first. And which adjective do you think of? Tough. Yes, this looks like a very tough action to do or an exercise. Tough means you are physically, that means your body, and emotionally strong. You can deal with really harsh and difficult conditions. This picture looks like part of a race, and it looks like really tough. 
if you're a tough person, I'm sure you can get through. Wow, look at this baby. He's trying to eat a very big piece of watermelon. So which adjective would you think of? Yes, he's very, very ambitious. He's trying to be very successful or powerful and wants to finish the whole watermelon. To be ambitious means you have a desire, you want to be famous, successful, or powerful. Ooh, look at this kitten. What is she trying to show? Yes, she's really, really cautious. Cautious means you're careful about avoiding danger. Maybe there's a big animal out there. So this cat has to be cautious. Ah, oh, look at this picture. Isn't it interesting? Which adjective would you think of? Adaptable, that's it. This animal is very adaptable. And it can change colors to suit the environment. Adaptable means you're able to change or be changed in order to fit or work better for some purpose. And that's the end. I hope you understand the meaning of some of these adjectives and know how to use them and get ready for tomorrow's lesson.